Et il s'est pas en parler de Well, it's hard to see you guys figured out what the prayer jars are for without me having to explain them. So, um, if you haven't come up and voted for your favorite God, you can come up and donate some coins, or you're welcome to keep them, snack on them for the rest of the con. Um, we didn't let Shirley on packaging, so they're probably safe to eat. We didn't give them up to <laughs> cheering, not laughter, okay? Let me try this again. Um, are you guys ready to vote for some of your favorite gods? Okay, okay. Your gods are going to be these lantern colors down here. So as we get into this panel, you're going to be able to vote for them. Our panelists will also be voting, but you guys can vote separately from the panelists. So maybe our results will be a little bit different than what we think they're going to be. I, I'm a martial god. I fight things. I don't count numbers. That's what we want this for. Well, what's the name of the Okay, okay. Wingman is already taking notes, so you better behave. Or was that a threat to me? Um, yeah, I'm Are you on? Am I on? Are you on? Am I on now? Oh, now you're on. Yeah, that was a threat to me. Uh, it wasn't a threat to the audience, I love you guys. No, it was a threat to your painting. Can you read the number? Absolutely. The number again? The number is three. One. Bingo! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are you guys ready to meet your panelists? Yeah. If they're just somewhat distracted cheering, we're going to go ahead and go and start introducing our panelists. We're going to start with Harvard's most dateable official, Pepe B. I'm Pei Ming. I am the General Ping Guan, Martial God of the North. I'm also known as the General who brought his sword and the God of Love. I like learning funny stories and cool armor, obviously. I just like cooking and talking about my past. <laughs> Reasons to take painting, I'm the god of love, duh. I'm a super strong martial god for protection of stuff, and I'm also really attractive. So, you know, there's that. So, hello everyone. Can we get a round of applause for me? <laughs> and she said she was much better the first time I tried. Good job. Are you ready to meet your next panelist? Let's meet Ling Lin, come and inspire this official. as a male god and is unamused. <laughs> Always. Lingwen likes paperwork with Frenchie art breaking things. You dislike most people except for me and the current bias against female officials. I love you can tell who wrote this. <laughs> this is what I think of you, I'm sorry. Reasons to worship Lingwen is a capable civil martial god. She has super cute hair and you can give her a nap. Oh, <laughs> And of course, the king or queen of heaven's party is being Known as the Lord of Lady Windmaster. So Ching Ching Yuan is stronger in her female part. She likes partying, Ming Yi, and her big girl. She just likes me. Crashing disasters and not looking fabulous. Reasons to worship Chi Ching Zhuan is a fashion foot. I can't even read my own writing. A fabulous fashion icon. <laughs> Next up, Heaven's local god, Ming Yi! I will warn of Ming Yi, Lord Master Yi. Fun fact, Ming Yi's spiritual weapon is a shovel. Good move, bro. Lights, food. The color black and Chi Ching Zhuan. Just lights. Food, the color white, and she changed a lot. <laughs> Reason to work at Ming Yi, really hot golf boyfriend, and we have disguises. <laughs> Heaven's most exclusive official, Shi Wu Yu. Modern water master and god of all. That's it, that's all the photos we have of 
Gillian. She won by a landslide. <laughs> Alright, so Shirian also gets a lantern. Who said Ling went? No. <laughs> Which one of you? Alright, you got both lanterns up there? Cool. Alright, next question. Alright, and Ching Zuan. Which heavenly official here is most likely to ascend on accident? Wasn't that Shirian? <laughs> He might just trip too gracefully and ascend he again. Would. No, no, he can't. I don't know. Let's think. Please. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go with Shailene. <laughs> yeah. All right. You would find some there. You would trip and ascend. You probably would. How can you ascend I like ascend. collecting scraps? I mean, I ascended in my sleep the last time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think your mic's on, guys. It's not a panel. There are technical difficulties. Mm -hmm. All right. Do we have an answer on that yet? Uh, nine seconds. You have nine seconds to vote. Most likely to ascend on accident. Huh. Gillian, of course. Mingi, how, how did you ascend? Just na by natural means. Totally, completely natural. Natural, natural means. Yeah, what did you do? Like, why are you here? Dug a hole and ended up in hell. <laughs> Welcome to hell. Two shilly on my Alright, and let's go to the next question. Alright. Mingi, who's the least likely to call for help if they were attacked by a giant spider? I think. Hua Chung would not need any help against a giant spider. I feel like you're sucking up to Hua Chung. I have no reason to do that whatsoever. <laughs> Are you sure about that? I'll get to back to you next month, okay? The money's almost here. It's charging you interest. And he's in debt. What? <laughs> I have concerns about you. <laughs> Snacks in this economy? <laughs> okay, okay. I yeah, that's I've seen the way you eat. All right. Fifteen seconds to vote. For which heavenly official you think would be least likely to call for help if attacked by a giant spider? Um, so here's a question for also for you. How big do you think the spider would be to have to qualify as a giant spider? <laughs> Probably as big as she can find. I'm not that big. <laughs> I didn't mean to break you guys up over a spider question, I'm sorry! So we are together? <laughs> I didn't say that either! I didn't say that either! Yeah, yeah, yeah Pigmy, who's side you on? Um, I'm on the side of love. We're the cool guys, like, we're the cool squad. I like you with some type there. Hey. Uh, you're the vibe on little brother. We are the cool me. squad. Uh huh. You're the weird older brother squad. What? Excuse me? Yeah, you're included. I am not older brother, thank you. <laughs> your, your panel now thinks you, that otherwise. Now you have been like, doing your <laughs> Your panel thinks, well, one person here thinks you would lock yourself in a self-locking closet, so... That one person is my hero. <laughs> How many seconds do we have left? Oh, it's not, it's Hua Chong. Oh, Hua Chong! Hua Chong! I... Yeah, yeah, okay. So two for four Chong. Although I do That's appreciate the three enough, I love, right? <laughs> Three people voted for you to be least likely to call for help if attacked by a giant spider. I can see that. See, I would also vote for you. I don't get a vote because I'm the host, so, you know. Alright, let's go to the next question for Shulian. Most likely, if the heavens were suddenly lacking spoons, to eat their ice cream with a fart. <laughs> this is a hard one, I know. I really want to say Ling Wen, <laughs> because... You know what? Lady's tired. Give her a break. If she wants to eat her ice cream with a fork, let her eat her ice cream with a fork and don't say anything. The, the reason I say that would be, it would be on accident, <laughs> grabbing a that, fork and that's true, food. probably. I feel like, yeah. But there's nothing wrong with eating ice cream with a fork, I think. Have you done it before? I feel like that answer comes from experience. I cannot confirm or deny that I have or have not eaten ice cream with a fork, but... Ming Chong eats ice cream with his hands sometimes. What? That's you eat them. As long as it's ice cream onto your body. As long as I don't get it all over the scrolls, I think that's a win for me.
Okay, that's true. She would have prayed the everyone prayed to the Wi Fi to work again. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably true. Ling Lin, aren't you supposed to be the god of Wi Fi? You're just getting revenge? <laughs> Alright, I'm going to keep her trying. If it comes back up, it comes back up. I'm sorry. Okay. What is our next question for our non-heavenly official? Who's the most likely to win the best decorated mansion? Oh, hold on. Before you answer, it worked? Yeah, it did. Oh, thank you, Wi-Fi God. Alright, watch on. Most likely to win best decorated mansion. Are we allowed to vote for ourselves? I suppose. I did not say you couldn't. Oh. Well, Goga, you should totally come visit Paradise, man. <laughs> I'm just going to say, I bet yours is decorated with a bunch of dead fish skeletons, and that I don't know why you enjoy that. <laughs> this has nothing to do with me, but didn't Paradise Man really burn down? <laughs> it's been rebuilt. With the money I'm paying you? <laughs> Everybody quick put more coins in uh, apparently maybe needs more money. <laughs> I thought Paradise Manor was a little creepy to be honest. You know, I've never been there, but it just sounds creepy. Yeah. It sounds a little fun. So somehow only one person managed to get into that, so we have one vote for win win. <laughs> <laughs> I really appreciate the sentiment, and I'm so glad that you were the only one who was allowed to vote. <laughs> I don't think this is helping my case at all when it comes to Wi-Fi. I did not do that in my favor, I promise. I have integrity. You have integrity. The Wi-Fi integrity. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll cuddle like I It's working now, go. Oh, oh my god, okay. Keep going. Alright, our next question is least likely to fall asleep reading a cultivation manual for she would do. No, same life. That's your question. Um, wait, so, uh, we're not, all, are we allowed to vote for ourselves? Sorry, you just... You, you just, I just want... Yeah, yeah I'm going to vote for yourself. Okay, well, I think I'm going to have to go with me as I... Are you honestly sure about that? Because I've seen you fall asleep over... Okay, I, I mean, I've never seen you fall asleep on book ever. Oh, all the time. <laughs> I didn't. I have more paperwork to you, by the way. I'm taking one of those too. Right. Paperwork. I don't know how to do my taxes. <laughs> this is why you are still a child. We're supposed to be yes, paying taxes. Yes, you should listen to your older siblings. <laughs> <laughs> I have life experience and advice for you. Somehow when I have to pay my taxes, I get money back. I think there might be something corrupt going on. Who do you pay taxes to? Because it's me and you're doing it wrong. <laughs> I it's pay okay. him in my body. It's okay. I can't. As if I give money back. <laughs> okay. Um. Final answer is myself. I seriously cannot see any of you not falling asleep while reading one. Maybe she would do, but. Um, I don't do. I don't. I don't. I don't read. Never mind. You have <laughs> servants that do the reading for you. I'm too rich. Learn by osmosis. You just rub the scroll on your forehead. I'm too rich for that. Yeah. Oh, that too. That helps. All right. How is our Ling Wen. Ling Wen? Oh, so two Ling Wen. Followed by Shinyan. Yeah. Oh, Shinyan. Oh, very nice. Did they hug or just no, 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 um, uh, just like Ling Wen. Good job, Ling Wen. You're doing really well here. Thank you. You're one of the last two. I'm just gonna go with the question while it's working, so you can Okay, okay. Our next question for Shiwudu. Who is most likely to accidentally forget their spiritual weapon on a mission? All right, you have it. Julian, <laughs> um, I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go with Julian. I'm pretty sure Julian just left, uh, leaves things all over the place. He's it's kind of a mess. Like, it's like, oh, it's, 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 Wait, do you have Roy right now? Yeah, that. Where's it? No comment. <laughs> oh, you didn't read the briefing. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to also pay me, too. I'll vote for pay. I don't have a spiritual weapon. I know. Well, <laughs> well, that's why you don't have it. But I can't forget it if I don't have one. Your spiritual weapon is your bad attitude. <laughs> so 
my fist. You want you want some? <laughs> so I guess um Shelian gets the point though. Alright, Shelian, how's our how's our cookie game going? Another one person voted for Gillian. Excellent, thank you. All right. Gillian would forget like, pieces of dinner. Like, pieces of everything. How, how do you forget that when it's connected to you? Right? Kind of, he kind of has a mind of his own. Sometimes he's over with uh, Emily, so. He's got other favorites. This is what happens when your spiritual weapon can move. See, that's what happens. Or it just goes with anything. Actually, <laughs> or uh, Feng Sheng and Lu Feng are still tied up. That actually <laughs> is a logical reason. Okay. They were supposed to be here. <laughs> they were supposed to be here, but they're tied up at the moment. They um, used smartly. All right. Our next question. Change one. Who probably puts their toilet paper on the wrong way? <laughs> to start, there is a right and a wrong way. Well, this question definitely implies that. I know, and I'm, I'm <laughs> yeah, enforcing okay, that rule. Right. I it can either go on the top or underneath. Underneath if you're a heathen. <laughs> Which way does Mingy do it? Mingy does it the right way because I taught him. I thought you liked it underneath. Oh. <laughs> oh. Ming Chong. One time I was at Shailian's so house, he didn't have toilet paper, so I don't know if I can answer what? that. What? 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 You you didn't have toilet paper? I think we only need to donate to you now. Don't get ahead of yourself, though. A lot of upgrades right now. Uh, <laughs> like I said, I'm sure you look like we're fighting in there again. So. Have they destroyed all the toilet paper? Probably, yes. <laughs> Pay Ming, though. You look like the dirty little frat boy that does not put the toilet paper on the right way. I put the toilet paper on the back of the toilet. Oh my god. <laughs> I bet you use dish soap for hand soap, too. No, I know better than that. Okay. I have blueberry donut scented You don't up. use like the six in one, right? Have you seen my hair? Do you think I could use the six in one? I don't know what you sometimes. I have a membership to Sephora. <laughs> <laughs> I do believe there's actually only one person still connected to Kahoot whose oh. Wi-Fi is working. So, uh, but anyways, th thank you for the one person who voted for me. <laughs> <laughs> I know she's the one, one right? <laughs> Alright, so that's one, uh, one for me, and one for Shimudu. Um, so now the question between me and you is, which of us is most likely to run out of toilet paper and not get you around toilet paper? <laughs> not wrong, but thanks for calling me out, guys! Uh, we are getting a lot of lanterns on the board, and I feel like most of them are for this guy. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or not, <laughs> so I really don't know how to feel about that. It's like you guys think he's the main character or something. Oh, no. Obviously that's me! <laughs> I'd like to say how many times I've tuned in to the, uh, the Heavenly Group chat, um, and it's someone going, uh, I ran out of toilet paper, but it's not payment, it's never payment! <laughs> Why do you know that? We have a group chat for that. Thank you. For a toilet? I knew there was a group chat I wasn't in it. <laughs> All right. Mingyi, the quickest to answer the communication array. Shi Ching Shuai. Yay! Who did you call? He Someone answered answer for me. everybody. <laughs> I'm available 24-7 for any requests. <laughs> you never answer yours. Please talk to Shi Ching Shuai so he stops talking to me. <laughs> Don't answer so quickly when I ask for you. Sometimes I'm busy. Well, I'm sure I am. <laughs> Who has called Shi Ching Zuan and just been left on like red? Hey, me? Well, I am uh, out doing missions. I'm out on dates with Ming Chong. What? <laughs> I've already <laughs> seen <laughs> shopping. Uh, hey. Face lifts. Shilian needs to go shopping sometimes, okay? It takes a long time. I've seen his hair. I, I understand why. Don't be mean. <laughs> What's wrong with my hair? <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna move farther away. No, the the white is back These are clearly the, the internet gods are clearly from like the Greek pantheon and not. No coins for them. 
Does anyone know Hua Chung's communication array password? I'd love to talk to him sometimes. Yeah. That's not for you to know. <laughs> You're not qualified. You know it? Don't act like you know it. I don't know. <laughs> How much did you pay for it? <gasps> oh. Wait, you know it? No. Just hypothetically. Do you think we can shake him down? <laughs> I'm all for, for this violence. <laughs> You're not even a Marshall god, you're an elemental god, but you're like, violence! <laughs> well, specifically against that one, but... I would touch my brother. Julianne, what's Hua Chung like in the communication array? <laughs> I don't think I'm allowed to answer that. <laughs> oh, okay. I was told I was to refrain from certain kinds of language, not that I use that anyway. <laughs> Whoa! There's a lot of trash talking about some people on the panel. It's what have weird. I ever done to either of you? <laughs> they didn't even say it was you, you just assumed that. <laughs> we know it's payment. Not everything's about you. The unspoken I'm so sorry. <laughs> Open the door, it's not me. Heaven. All right, and our next question. For you, Shilan, most likely to smuggle someone into the heavens. Um, well, I... That's a look. It is. Um, I'm gonna have to say, uh, someone. <laughs> I feel like you could, and you probably would. And it would be yourself. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not sure that qualifies as an answer, but you're not wrong, but also that's an interesting answer. Watch, I need some points, give it to him. <laughs> I need some points, but I probably, you know, I don't think about that. Uh, how's our... Uh, 12 seconds and... 12 seconds, so I have to talk for 12 more seconds, okay. Oh uh, man. Alright, show of hands, uh, if you think that Hua Chang would smuggle someone into heaven, please raise your hand. <laughs> yeah. Okay. There's something she we would don't do. know about. If you think Shi Wudu would smuggle someone into heaven. Shi uh, Lian. Alright. Uh, Ling Wen, me. Alright. Uh, Shi Chin Chun. Woo! <laughs> You're Mimi's already in heaven, so like, why would you smuggle someone in? I don't like that tone you're using. <laughs> Why would you smuggle someone in? So I think Hua Chong gets two lanterns. Yes, another or a point for Hua Chong. I don't know if you have. I like we didn't even vote for Mingyi. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's a good boy. He never does anything wrong. Mingyi doesn't belong That's right. here anyways. All right, Hua Chong, who is the most likely to roll out of bed every morning looking perfect? That is obviously Coco. <laughs> I feel like you were biased and this was the wrong person to ask this question. Yep. Yeah. No denial? Okay. No denial. Okay. Go, 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 go. How do you feel about that? Looking perfect every day with your hair like in a giant poofy ball and like, you know, drool down your side of your face and... Uh... I know how you feel about it. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you picking on me? What have I ever done to any of you? I mean, I definitely am not perfect every morning, so I disagree, but... <laughs> That's not true, and all of you guys need to vote for Shilin looking perfect every day. I mean, he looks the same when he gets up and if he's had time to get ready, so... Okay, see, Ching Suan understands my point. Okay, let's see a show of hands. Who thinks that Hua Chang rolls out of bed every day looking absolutely perfect? Okay, all right. Who thinks she would do rolls out? <laughs> I, I, she would do. Who thinks, uh... No one even knows what I look like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Shilian. Aww. Me? You don't sleep. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Chi-Chin-Chan. And Lashanabi. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <Menu>. <laughs> oh, 
also with this one, I feel like we also have to add Pei Ming to the vote. So raise your hands if Pei Ming looks perfect rolling out of bed. Oh, you have one. Oh, you guys seriously were going to believe in me? Thank you. You guys will get like extra, extra prayers answered. I actually think Ling Wen gets the extra audience one because I thought Ling Wen had a few more hands than you. Oh, okay. 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 Ling Wen, you were you were doing well here. Congratulations, you have fans. Yeah. I love you guys. I'll do all your taxes. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, everyone vote for Ling Wen. <laughs> I'll help you. I'll help you get into grad school. <laughs> all right, Ling Wen. If they were lost in the woods, who would be the least likely to ask for directions? <laughs> she would do. I. She would do. Okay. I know everyone. No, because okay, but this just happened. Yeah, we were out there one time. We went out to go do stuff yeah. in the mortal room. You got us lost in the woods, and we were both like, "Yo, we should stop and ask this farmer for directions." They were like, "We don't know." He goes, "No, I don't need directions. I don't need directions. I know exactly where I don't need anything." And I, it was taking a scenic route. I was showing you the A scenic route that took us like three days. You like trees, don't you? Not that much. Hi. Moral of the story, do not go on trips with she would do. Uh, at least not in areas that you're not familiar with. Mm -hmm. um, yes, she would do has that. We I should go on a trip just so I can get you away from Mingy a bit. <laughs> <laughs> no. This probably won't work because Mingy's going to come and save you. Yeah. And give you the direction. You just keep saying, I know the water's this way. I if sense you both water. could get lost together, that would be great, actually. <laughs> yeah. I sense water, okay? It's water. Is that one of your powers? Yes, I know. You're part fish. I, I, I don't. I'm not part fish, but I know where water. Do you have is. one of those tappy water rods? Is that yeah. your spiritual weapon? I yeah. That's. I'm gonna. I'm gonna Thank you. Those. A divining rod. Yeah. Yes. A divine rod for divine god. <laughs> you know, I can't even. I okay. That was touche. Touche. That was okay. Okay. You deserve an extra lantern for that. Thank I think you. we broke my life. <laughs> okay, uh, a show of hands if you think that she would, it would be likely, least likely to ask for directions if he got lost. Show of hands if you think that Ling Wen would be least likely to ask for directions. She never goes out, so I don't think this is going to be Ling Wen. All right, Ching Zuan, if Ching Zuan would be least likely to ask for directions. I'm just going to skip the rest, we're going to go with she would. <laughs> I just don't like talking to people. So, so. two for sure. Yeah, I'll take this one. Thank you. All right, we are on to the bonus questions for Ching Zuan. Which heavenly official would be the most likely to order chicken nuggets? This is a really uh, careful question for you. Bing Chong. Correct. Every day, morning, lunch, dinner, always chicken nuggets. <laughs> okay, more important question for Ming Xiang. What kind of sauce do you get with those nuggets? Yes. <laughs> All of them. Whipping cream, I did not think was a sauce, but... Is it the dinosaur nuggets? Aww. And he doesn't like to share. He doesn't like to share. No. Do you have to get your own chicken nuggets? I order my own, but they don't end up being my own. <laughs> That's so sad. You don't even share with your not... Boyfriend, Sometimes I'll friend? put like the nugget in my mouth and try to do like the Pocky game, which is like a mortal game I've heard about. Yeah, yeah. Um, and the so, nugget game? Yeah, the nugget game. I feel like you don't get to eat that nugget. No. <laughs> but sometimes our lips touch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yay! Stay out of the nugget game. Stay out of the nugget game. <laughs> I'm not joining that with you. <laughs> uh, okay, raise your hand if you all agree that it's me. Yeah, yeah, okay. And our last bonus question goes to Ming Yi. Wow, make this good. Which heavenly official is the most likely to get stood up on a date? Aww. I bet you know what the answer is. <laughs> but it's actually been Chi one 17 times <laughs> in the last week alone. If, if you show up to say no, I don't count that as being stood up. You know, that's, that's, as the god of love, you both have a point. Thank you. <laughs> I do know someone who's been stood up for 800 years, though.
Who's that? <laughs> Nobody you know. <laughs> That's awful. Teaching strength to have a lantern though. Okay. Thanks, honey. <laughs> did we want to? Did we want to vote on that, or are we all like? Are, are we all, are we all just gonna agree? <laughs> Nodding. Okay. Yeah. I think. I think. Okay. Teaching on. All right. Well, that was our last question. So I apologize that our Google game didn't go very well, but the internet gods were pickled today. Um, so let's get our last lander on the board, and let's let's add up how many landers we have for everybody. Okay, you won? Okay. Let's give a big round of applause for Bruni Cutsworth, who's been a wonderful assistant today. Did you just keep changing the mini lanterns? I got one. You got one? I got one. I think we should give you one. I think we should give you one more pity right here. Nikki got more than pay me. Well, yeah. I was not actually in the Kahoot game though, so I feel like this is uh -huh. um, so you know. You should get a pity lantern. <laughs> a pity lantern. <laughs> I just feel bad. <laughs> okay, I officially get one pity lantern. Paving wins in his heart. Like I, I do. And it's got a heart. Okay. Don't you dare put that pin through the heart though. Okay. Okay. Good. <laughs> So Sheila wins with five points. Watch on second with four. Woo! Woo! Oh, we won again. Teaching to one. Our goal tied with three lanterns apiece. Good job, guys. Oh, she was wow. Okay. And the minion and the minion are tied. All right, minion, high five. Goal five. one of the day because you won't even do that with Chingsu on so I'm gonna rub that in your face next time you fail to listen to my brotherly advice. If I touch his hand he won't wash it. <laughs> you know that that's true. We do value cleanliness in the heavens. <laughs> hey. Alright. Um we've got about ten minutes left. So we're gonna go ahead and introduce all of our panels so you guys can say your socials. Um, and then kind of wrap everything up. Carol, yeah. you want me to go first? Okay. Yeah, I'm like, what am I doing? I don't need this. Why am I grabbing this? I don't want to do it. I'm okay. So, <laughs> bye, everybody. Uh, I've been your painting. I'm Chaotic Neutral Cosplay uh, on Instagram. Um, thank you all for coming out and attending this panel with us. Like I said, we have about 10 minutes left, so we're going to kind of just wrap up things. Uh, but thank you for helping us vote. No surprise that Shailion won. Um, I'm a little bit surprised that we got a three way tie between the three on the end. Um, to be honest, I didn't expect you to get any votes. As long as long as I beat Mingyi, that's fine. <laughs> Aww. I'm a more worthy heavenly official. Why don't you like him? Why do you like him? <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> what are his good traits? His good looks. You would know nothing about that, though. I've seen who you hang out with. Style I hate you. Your style is ridiculous. <laughs> your style is ridiculous. Uh, in just a minute, our slides are going to start playing our socials, so you can follow us there if you would like. Um, but we're going to go down the table and thank people for attending and give your socials. So, um, let's start with Kuo Shung because you're on the end and I get to pick on you. Hi, uh, my internet social is Kibi Ella. Go to the next slide. K-I-B-Y-E-L-L-A. Okay, hi. <laughs> I'm Heather. I'm uh, one hell of a cosplayer on Instagram and pretty much everything else. Thank you guys so much for coming. This is my first West Coast con. I'm from Chicago. She so, so, officially wins like the travel the farthest to be here for this panel. So, so thank, thank you. you so much. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, this is different. <laughs> I don't want this one. Oh, <laughs> a loud one, yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Stitch. Um, I am one Stitch from Hell on Instagram, um, and this is my very first Kamori Con, so I'm very Woo! excited to be here. <laughs> What's up, guys? This is Hector. Um, I'm on YouTube, and I talk about TGCF a lot, and this is my first ever panel. So Woo! thank you guys for having Woo! me. <laughs> what are we doing? We're just rolling the rolling it down. Hi, I'm Sarah. Um, my socials are um, 
perfection, uh, P-E-R underscore F-E-K. It'll be up there eventually. Yeah, it's up there in a minute. It's like not spelled how you think it is, but TikTok, Insta, Twitter. Yeah, that's all. Thank you. It was fun. Cause um, on anywhere that you would possibly want to look for me. Uh, thank you guys for coming. Apologies for not staying in character almost at all because I am nothing like Bling Wen and I rely heavily on TurboTax. So uh, I'm actually a fraud. I apologize. Um, but yeah, this is also my first Kamori Con. Uh, and also my first panel like not online so that's very fun so thank you for having me thank you uh, and let's give one more round of applause to villainous cosplays who's unfortunately not in our slide but who joined us last minute today to handle our um and we are going to stay up here for a couple minutes after we wrap up if you guys want to say hello or thank you to the panelists um and before we wrap up completely i want to give a a uh, gentle nudge, we are doing uh, an MXTX slash Don May meetup tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. It'll be across the street in the little circular plaza, the, uh, what's it called, the convention center plaza, right across the street from the main entrance to the con center. So if you guys want to come and see everybody there, we will be there tomorrow. Um, and thank you all for coming so much. That's it, you're dismissed now. <laughs>